What is up guys and welcome back to another video now today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my team of the year predictions for FIFA 18 So in this video I'm going to tell you guys who I think should be in the team of the year for goalkeeper, defenders, midfield and attack So you already know what's going on, I don't need to explain anything really All you need to know is that I'm going to be predicting the team of the year I'm going to suggest what I think will be the most realistic answer for each part of the team of the year But also I will share my own opinion so for each section I will decide who I would like to see in the team of the year, but maybe wouldn't be as realistic as some of the other options. So hopefully you do enjoy this video, drop a like if you do, leave your suggestions for team of the year in the comment section down below, I'm interested to know who you think should be in the team of the year, leave me your predictions, like leave me your realistic answers, and also leave me uh, the players that you would like to see just because they would be overpowered. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into my team of the year predictions for FIFA 18. Team of the year brings so much hype to the table not only for FIFA but if you follow my channel then you know I do Footwatch and Footwatch is where I actually will pack team of the years. FIFA I probably won't even get one. I will try though I will make team of the year videos on FIFA 18 but mostly I will be making videos on Footwatch because obviously it's free and I can just spam open team of the year packs and I should get a bunch of the team of the year when it does come out. But let's see who I think will, will actually get in the team of the year. Starting off then with the goalkeeper we have the nominees right here. Buffon, De Gea, Lloris, Navas and Oblak. Already a very very interesting point needs to be discussed. Manuel Neuer is not in the nominees. So that's something. That's huge because Neuer has actually been in the team of the year, I think, every year since, like, as far as I can remember. As far as I've been playing FIFA, honestly, I think. So these here are the goalkeepers we are left with for this year. Now, I'm going to say who I think will make it. Who is the most realistic option out of these. And then also who I actually want. So my prediction for the goalkeeper is going to be Buffon. I feel like Buffon is going to get up there. And I think out of the options, it would be between Buffon and De Gea, I would say, to get this Team of the Year card. But I think Buffon will get it. He's like only 50 years old or some shit, I don't know. In fact, I think he's like 40, maybe. That's still very old, but he has still been very, very consistent, and he's still one of the best goalkeepers in the world. And I feel like Buffon will get the Team of the Year slot this year for the goalkeepers. But who do I actually want? Who would I like to see the most in the team? Well, that would have to be De Gea, simply because BPL, that already says enough. Although I am saying this and I won't ever get any of these cards, but I'm just saying because what I, what I would like, but it's never gonna happen anyway. But anyway, but I would like to hate because of the BPL, which is the best league for me. I always build my teams around the BPL, well, mostly. And that's pretty much it. BPL is all you need for an answer. Moving on then to the defenders, we have a very wide selection here now at the defenders. We have a lot of cards to choose from here. So I'm gonna be choosing two center backs, a left back and a right back for the team of the year, of course. I'll start with the left back. I'm seeing Alba, Alba, Alonso. Felipe Luiz, Marcelo, he gets it every year, Alexandro, and that's it. So for the left back, who do I think will get it? Who is the most realistic option that I think will win for the team of the year? I'm going to have to go with Marcelo. I am going to have to go with Marcelo. I don't want him to, but I feel like he will get it. But who do I want to see there? Who would I prefer the most out of the left backs? That is the question. I would definitely have to go with the boy, Alaba. That card would be absolutely unreal. He's got the pace. He's got very good all-round stats on his basic card. So if he gets a team of the year card, that would just be absolutely unreal. Once again, I'm never going to get this card, but I'm just saying. On to the two centre-backs then. We have Azpilicueta, Bonucci, Godin, Koulibaly, David Luiz. He gets it every year. PK and Sergio Ramos, Thiago Silva, and that is Overtongen. Hello. So my predictions would be Ramos. There's no way he's not getting it. I swear. If he doesn't get it, then there's something wrong. Ramos has to be one of them. Maybe Thiago Silva. I'm just taking one more glance down. Or Bonucci. Ooh, yeah. 
I'm gonna have to go with Ramos and Bonucci. I feel like them two will get the centre back spots. The two though that I would like to see most, who are they then? Honestly, I want Ramos. I actually do want Ramos. Who else though? Ramos and Ooh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. You know what? I actually do want to have Luis. Not even joking. I do want to have Luis. I like him as a player. I like the fact that he gets Team of the Year cards. I feel like he won't get it again this year, but I actually want him to. On to the midfielders though, it just gets more interesting as we move down the pitch. Midfielders are always very, very interesting. Forwards though are the best. We all know that is my hype, but we should have some cracking options in the midfield section. Oh, I'm seeing some bangers. It's all about the middle of the park. It's all about the middle of the park, you know what I mean? So that's when the big boy options are at. We can see Ali, we can see Casemiro. Dive, okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna just pick three players from the middle of the park, the middle of the pitch. I'm gonna go for De Bruyne, Dybala, and the boy, N'Golo Kante. Three very, very unique options since uh, we've never seen them before in the team of the year. Ever. We've always seen Modric, we've always seen Cruz. Oh yeah, sorry, this is my like personal preference by the way. I haven't started this one with uh, the actual predictions. I forgot about that, but I, I'm doing it the other way around for the midfield. Hope you don't mind. So yes, three centre mids that I actually want to see are Kante, um, Dybala and De Bruyne. That would be absolutely outstanding. But three players that I think will actually be picked. Like, who is the most realistic options? Well, Modric, Cruz, and Iniesta. I mean, it's just, it is just the same every year. There's no way that's not going to happen. But guys, on to the biggest part of the whole team of the year. The attackers, the forwards, the big bad boys. The options, we have Aguero, Cavani, Coutinho, Harry Kane, Hazard, Griezmann, Lewandowski, Lukaku, Mbappe, Neymar, Messi, Mertens, Ronaldo, Sanchez, and Suarez. Wow, oh my god. I'm just going to jump straight into like the predictions. Neymar, Messi, Ronaldo. And, and yeah. But what three fours do I want to personally see? Oh, oh, I see a few good, unique options. I'm gonna go with Griezmann. The boy Griezmann is an absolute baller. I feel like he would be such a good addition to the team of the year. I don't think he's gonna get it though because of the players that are much better than him in, in the world. Yeah, I want to see Griezmann, then I just want to see the Ronaldo and Messi. Like, I can't I can't not want to see that, you know what I mean? But that is it, guys. That is it for all the nominees for this year's Team of the Year. It is a very exciting time of year for the FIFA community. Leave all your thoughts on this year's Team of the Year down below in the comment section. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's Team of the Year predictions video. If you have, make sure you go down there and drop a big like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.